Hello and welcome to the official update video for NCC Pride 2023. This one's a super exciting one as we've got tons of updates. We've got a bunch in store for all those celebrating Pride with us this month, which we'll get to in a bit. But first, let's go over what our Pride event does best. Donate loads of money to a great cause. MCC Pride is our yearly event to raise money for our charity of choice, The Trevor Project. And thanks to your support and donations in the past, we've raised over $500,000 in total. All of the support you've given the event over the years has not only helped them provide their excellent services and support to the LGBTQ youth in North America, but they've also recently been able to expand their service into Mexico. Well, this year we're here to raise more again. But this time, the drive will be a bit different to the ones we've done in the past. Instead of all being through Tiltify, the total is split between direct donations and donations from our new MCC Pride Coin. Our limited edition Pride Coin features a unique design on the back and 100% of the coin's profits will go towards this year's Pride Drive. The coin means that as well as donating, those coin flips are about to get a little bit gayer. You can find our running total and all the ways you can donate over on mcc.live slash donate, which is up and running like right now, by the way. This year's Pride winners will receive not one, not three, but two Pride coins in this one-of-a-kind coin display that will make any trophy cabinet a lot gayer. This display is super exclusive and you're going to need to win Pride to get one. They won't even let me make my own. In previous years, your donations would go towards unlocking cosmetics and events for streamers to play with. This year, we've gone in a slightly different direction. All the cosmetics you unlocked from previous years will still be there, and now will show up in-game so you can rep your Pride Flag swag all event long. The Dome has had some special changes, and we've added a, a really short parkour course to the hub. This parkour tower will grow and grow the more donations roll in. If you want to reach the top, you'll need not just your parkour skills, but the support of the community to come through as well. MCC is getting its first creator remix, as we took inspiration from Ant Frost to put their spin on Sands of Time. Throughout the dungeon, you'll find special colourful sand. The sand still gives you an extra 10 seconds in the dungeon, but as soon as you put it in, you and all of your teammates will be struck by a special potion effect. Most of the effects will give you a little leg up, such as jump boost, fire resistance and speed, whereas some will give you multiple debuffs at once. You'll want to make sure your teammates aren't in any danger before using some of these negative effects, or you could get them in a spot of trouble. But you'll need to use the bad sand at some point if you want to make out with the most coins. The length of the effect depends on how much time is already in the timer. The more sand that's in there, the longer the effect will last. Once sand is in the timer, it stays in there, and you won't be able to break it out and reuse its potiony goodness. So if you want to use sand sacrifices or free a teammate, you better keep some on hand just in case. To get to the other stack is back, baby. Once again, you'll be able to use any other player as a noble stallion, using their head to gallop to the end of the course. And if you don't want someone on your back, a simple crouch will send them flying like buckaroo. Anyone remember that game? That was, that was fun. Bingo But Fast returns, and this time we're dropping you into a stunning valley with both tropical jungles and an arid mesa. The map looks even better from above, so in addition to the Elytra, we've given all players two fireworks to soar across the map and help them find all the blocks and items they need. Use them wisely. If the bingo card proves a bit tricky to read, we have slash items, which will give you a list of all the items left for you to collect. We would show you, but that would totally spoil what's in the bingo card. So we can. Well, there is one set of items I can spoil. What's that? The items on our new merch store. We've majorly expanded our merch collection, so now alongside the Season 3 and Pride Coins, you can find a massive collection of brand new team-themed coloured shirts, allowing you to rep your pride for your favourite faction. If you can't choose, you can also wear all 10 at once, but only for a little while before you get too hot. Along with all the shirts, you'll find brand new Champions Brew mugs for all your drinks and new sticker sets for anything that needs a Champions Touch applied. If digital merch is more your thing, I have great news. MCC Island Open Beta has a release date. On Tuesday 13th of June will be open for all players who participated in the MCC Island closed beta or have a rank. A week later on the 20th of June, Island will open its floodgates to everyone, allowing you to hop on with all your friends and enjoy the new Parkour Warrior courses. We're super excited to open back up and show you what we've been working on. After launch, there's plenty more to come, including new game modes, new cosmetics and tons of other stuff. We can't wait for you to see it. Over in Map Changeland, many classic Pride maps are returning, such as Pride Factory for Battlebox and Pride Bowl for Parkour Tech. 
While our typical Pride Map clouds won't be in this one, the many turtles of Runner Bay have shown their support by decorating their cove with all sorts of colourful additions. Don't worry, cloud lovers, the map isn't gone forever. We just couldn't turn down these colourful little guys, could we? Most importantly, however, the Ace Race speed pads have had a touch of purple thrown in there for our Ace community. Build Mart is back. It's been a long time. And if you need a refresher on the rules and the scoring, that can now be found on our brand new website. We've moved all event news, info, and links to a shiny new website right alongside Island and the forums at mcchampionship.com. That's now a one-stop shop for all your MCC and MCC Island news. On the event page, you can find more info than ever before, and you bet that we're going to use the new website for so much more. The future is looking bright. Just as always, mcc.live is where you can find all the scores and streamers you need while watching. Got it? Wow, that was a massive video. So much news! And just a reminder, you can find all of the donation links for this event over at mcc.live slash donate, as well as the running total. That's it, right? That's all for today? We're, we're not forgetting anything? Well, I've read this script through with my excellent 2020 vision, and I can't think of a single thing we missed. I'm sure if we missed anything, it wouldn't be mega important anyway. Well, if that's everything, I've got to bolt off for now. I'll see you all at the event on Saturday, 10th of June at 8pm BST.